artists, welcome to today's session, Drawing Transparent Objects. To begin, compose your own transparent object still life with three or more objects. Some objects to consider including into your still life would be clear glassware, silverware, light bulbs, vases, and bottles. The better your composition, the better your drawing. Add a spotlight to give more value contrast and highlights. Light and shadow will play a very important role in drawing transparent objects. There may even be light areas within or around shadows. Glass is usually shiny and glossy and or reflective, making the highlights pure white. Most importantly, remember that glass is transparent. You can see objects and details through it. Objects and details visible through the glass will likely have some distortion because of refraction. Refraction is a visual distortion that happens when the glass is compressed or curves or it's filled with liquid. Set up your drawing easel and tape off your drawing paper evenly all the way around the paper and parallel to the drawing board for a clean presentation. Begin by toning the paper with vine charcoal and a chamois. If you don't have a chamois, you can use a really soft paper towel. We are going to be using the reductive drawing method on this assignment. This means that all the highlights will eventually be erased from the toned paper to achieve value and form. So we're gonna go ahead and tone the paper, completely covering it with the vine charcoal and blending it with the chamois. So here we go. Okay, now you wanna use your vine charcoal to sketch the contour lines of your transparent objects, filling the entire page. So no negative space. You can have some negative space, but not a lot of negative space this time. Follow the outer edges slowly and pay attention to the areas where the lines intersect, overlap, reflect, and refract. Okay, now that all of our lines are on the page, we are going to want to notice the balance in the symmetry of all of the shapes of your objects. Be as critical as possible and use a straight edge, even if necessary, to measure the exactitude of the lines. Pay attention to the elliptical openings of the tops of the glasses and be very precise when drawing them. The more balanced and symmetrical your geometric shapes, the more beautiful your drawing. Okay, now that I've pretty much got all of the elliptical shapes in there in a nicely balanced way. I'm gonna go ahead now and want to add depth and dimension to all of these shapes, beginning to mass in three gradations of value, light, medium, and dark with the charcoal. You will want to use the charcoal pencil for even some of the shadows and the click eraser for the highlights. Look for the nuances, the reflections, and the luminosity that's created by your theatrical lighting. This is the fun part.
now that I've worked in a good portion of the values by adding lots of the charcoal and using my erasers to really try to pull out highlights, it, it takes a little time, but now that I'm done with that, I do want to now refine the values by adding more implied texture. So I'm going to really go into this one now more with the charcoal pencil, more than I, I did before. And I'm going to really try to pay attention to all of those little nuanced areas, kind of come back in, sharpen things up, sort of crisp out some of the edges, um, bring a little more linear component back to the elliptical shapes. And I can try out hatching, cross-hatching, or stippling to get visual interest to create more convincing illusion of my transparent objects. Um, and one thing you'll notice about the glass is it has a really beautiful prismatic effect um, where you see light shining through things. Um, and this is where you really want to get in there and refine those moments of luminosity and beauty and transparency. I think I've pretty much achieved some of the effects that I want with the glass. We're really learning how to see. We're realizing that everything is connected to everything else. Each mark that you make in your drawing will inform the next mark. And before you know it, the magic of your transparent objects will emerge from the illusion of your drawing. I had fun drawing with you in today's session and I look forward to drawing with you again soon.